Hey guys, in this video I will be talking about the upcoming extreme heat wave that the, especially the um, northern tier of the U.S. and the, especially the central and eastern U.S. will be feeling, especially going to the end of this week and in, through next week. Um, and uh, first I'll be showing you the 2 meter temperature anomalies. I'm um, comparing to, so the blues are compared, this is compared to average. Like wherever you live, this is compared to average. So like out west, it's much cooler than average pretty much everywhere. Um, wherever, whatever average you, whatever your average is out west really, pretty much everywhere, anywhere you live out west, it's below average in your area. And then the very central U.S. is kind of like neutral because there's um, below average and above average um, all in in there but it's generally below average but then the eastern u.s is generally quite above average especially in the very northern parts of the u.s so getting into tomorrow and going through uh friday saturday you can see the uh temperature anomalies just keep building and warming up for the eastern u.s and then going through next week it really dives down and really bumps up the temperatures a ton f for the eastern U.S., especially along the east coast, in fact. The east coast will be really getting really warm, getting into next week and even towards the end of next week into the week after. And then, I guess going towards the end of the run, it's, I mean, it's really hard to tell, but generally f from, it's really from uh, starting Friday, Saturday, um, through all of next week, it will really just be generally very above average for the eastern U.S. Um, and even, like, if we go to the beginning here, you can see Canada, these southern parts of Canada, this is James Bay, these southern parts of Canada here, just in the north of the upper Midwest and just to the north of the northeast of New England, temperature anomalies are pretty much towards the end of this scale up here, to, towards the positive end of this scale. Temperature anomalies are at uh, like 12 to 20 degrees above average, and that's really, really bad because, well, in fact, polar bears live right up here around James Bay, and there's, I think, a national park apparently of polar bears um, right up here. So that is definitely not good at all, and really just this heat and extreme temperature anomalies will just move its way south here and cover most of pretty much all of the midwest upper midwest ohio valley northeast new england um and i'll actually show you now uh, this is the gfs model this is what the gfs model thinks i'll show you show you now what the gfs model thinks with actual temperatures and you can see as of right now really the northeast and new england are the coolest within this whole like huge pocket of extreme warmth for the central and eastern u.s with temperatures up here um, ranging from around 70 to um, the low to mid 80s, and then it gets down and it get as you head farther south, southeast mid Atlantic is generally in the 80s, 90s, um, especially the southeast 90s. Some areas I think even near 100, and then in the central U.S. It's I think it's the hottest really in this whole area. It's getting towards 100, a little over 100 the midwest even temperatures are like 70s 80s getting up to like the uh, mid 80s for the midwest and ohio valley so again this is still very warm for here but then look at canada though this area in canada where the temperature anomalies are the highest because their average temperatures there are much lower than temperatures like here in new england northeast ohio valley midwest and especially much lower than where the central and southeast areas are so their temperatures, it's showing 90s near 100, so that's really bad for those areas. And you can see as we head far down in time, you know, that that's the night time, so the temperatures cool down. And then we get towards um, tomorrow, and you can see again, much of this same area is still really far above average, which is not good. Um, there, there is a stretch of much cooler temperatures there, but that should change as we head into tomorrow you know you can still see tomorrow still 70s 80s some 90s here even temperatures in the u.s again central and eastern u.s starting to warm up more northeast new england starting to warm up more again towards the 70s near 80s the more southern areas um 80s 90s even um this the especially the 
the South Central U.S. along the Gulf Coast and Florida, the Carolinas, Georgia are the warmest with temperatures around um, the mid-90s to near 100. And as we head farther out in time, it just keeps warming up in all these same areas from southern Canada down through the southeast, central U.S., south central U.S., northeast New England, Midwest, Ohio Valley, all within that. You can see just as we continue to move forward, it just keeps warming and warming. And then, I mean, as you can see for Canada, that area in Canada, it starts to really cool down after, especially like next Friday, um, and again into the weekend, it just really cools down. But you can see temperatures in the central U.S., central plains through the southeast, mid-Atlantic, deep south, through New England, northeast, mid midwest. Temperatures will be ranging from the lowest for highs around 80 to temperatures well into the hundreds for especially these areas in the central U.S. You can see that very clear here. You can see even now the southeast and deep south and coastal mid-Atlantic are even within this as well, getting to the 90, upper 90s, low hundreds. Um, so this is really dangerous stuff. Um, let's. I'm going to zoom in for the GFS model, go more towards the eastern U.S., zoom in more so you guys can see better um, with this. I'll scroll down so you can see Florida as well. Um, and yeah, you can see from New England down through the southeast and out into the central U.S. and Midwest, temperatures will just be warming significantly. Um, and for a lot of these areas, the heat wave will be way longer than three days. It looks like in some areas, even the heat wave could last up to a, a week even. Let's um, go back just um, and show you when the heat wave really will start to take effect, which will be around... Um, which, be, which will start around Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, going into Thursday. So really from the for for areas that will likely be in the heat wave for the next week or so, it'll be really from um, South Dakota, even south through Texas and then east through Dixie Alley states into the southeast and coastal mid-Atlantic. And then for areas of like the Midwest, northern Midwest, Ohio Valley, and the northeast of New England, we'll be in a heat wave for three to five days even for some areas. Um, so again, this is going to be extremely, uh, extremely hard to try and get through for a lot of people just 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 always keep in mind, especially with this heat wave coming up, um, just during this heat wave, just keep in mind, just stay as hydrated as possible um, if you can, and just try and stay out of the sun most of the time, or at least as much as possible, and try to find as many shady spots as you can. can. Um, and uh, yeah, this is just extremely warm. Uh, I'll show you what the CMC is showing. Let's. I'll show you the... Uh, um, anomalies first, we go back to, um, go back here to net right now, um, and you can see the temperatures up in the Canada around James Bay again, is also agreeing with the GFS, will be extremely warm, and then the warmth will just build its way south and just keep its rain on the central and eastern u.s for just all of next week really the warmest most above average for where the u.s in the u.s really is will will be the upper midwest and new england and the and the northern northeast especially new york state um and that's really just because the averages here are much cooler than down in the southeast so even though the southeast and south central will also be quite above average just like the northeast new england ohio valley midwest the averages in the southeast, south central U.S. are much higher than the averages in the in New England, northeast, midwest, Ohio Valley. So they won't be, you know, as above average for, like, anomaly temperature-wise than New England and all those areas. Um, because you can see it's just, really, it's just extremely warm for all these areas. Really, for from the midwest down through the Ohio Valley, northeast New England, and even the northern mid-Atlantic... Um, temperature anomalies will be ranging from 3 to even 8 to 10 degrees above average. And then for the southeast, it'll only be really from 
one to maybe four to six degrees above average. So, um, you know, it's just, there's just a uh, huge difference really just because of those, you know, average temperatures for these areas. Um, so yeah, as you can see, the CMC also agrees with the GFS for the temperature anomalies for this whole next week, really, um, for all of these areas. Let's show you the actual temperatures now for all of these areas. And you can see the CMC, it shows temperatures, really the Texas, the Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, um, really those main three states for the central U.S. down through Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, um, there will be in this heat wave for the longest for like really in the next week, maybe even longer slightly. Um, and then for the Midwest, New England, Northeast, um, they'll be in the heat wave for more like, again, three to five days. Um, so again, either way, um, oh, even it looks like, uh, next Wednesday, July 8th, a week from today, um, for the coastal mid-Atlantic, coastal New England, especially southern coastal New England, temperatures, let's just quickly zoom in on this area. Um, oh, wait, wrong. Hold on. Um, temperatures for this area will be probably the warmest then. Um, you can see, like, for the coastal areas especially, um, low to mid-90s, upper 80s to around 90. So it'll just be ex an extremely warm, hot uh, time, especially again towards midweek next week, and you can see for northeast New England, it just keeps on going that way pretty much. Upper 80s near 90, low 90s in some areas even, and then Friday, and then you know, it just uh, really it looks like this this uh, heat wave will be lasting for most areas a week, starting on Friday through the following Friday. The heat wave should start to lessen um, for all of these areas by next Friday. Um, for some areas, it will be starting Friday through next Friday, so it will be a whole week long. And then for um, really majority of areas, especially for these northern parts here in New England, Northeast, Mid-Atlantic, Ohio Valley, Midwest, it will be lasting starting more towards like Sunday, Monday through Friday. So again, like more like um, five, towards five days, a five-day heat wave for these areas and more like seven days, seven or maybe eight days for the south, central U.S., southeast um, so that's, uh, it, it's just extremely wor worrying, um, and dangerous as well. Uh, I'll show you the actual temperatures for like the, around where I live, um, going through, going into next week. And you can see the big jump starts, um, really starts by, um, Sunday, Monday, getting into the low to mid 80s, and then especially getting towards, again, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, getting towards right around 90. Um, I honestly, these are still um, day, a few days out, so these still may go up, so um, these like 89s might be up, up to 90, and these 90s might be up to like 91, 92, so again, I mean, where I live, I could see a heat wave for three, four days. Um, especially three, four days, especially again towards the end of the week. And then temperatures kind of cool down a little bit for where, around where I live and just the general areas. Um, but you know, again, this will be pretty much, um, this will be pretty much, uh, just everywhere in the central and eastern U.S. Um, uh, so I'll, t I'll show you the, uh, um, let's say, um, I'll show you the, let's say Dallas area, um, Dallas, Texas, 10 day weather, because especially where Dallas is and, you know, Texas, that area will probably feel the warmest temperatures. Um, you can see even like today's high will be 96 there, 97, 101, 101, 98. So, I mean, they're, I mean, they've pretty much been in a heat wave for a long time, but this heat wave for them, I mean, it won't really be noticeable for them since they've been in this kind of already for a while but really for them the heat wave will be especially getting towards um th really through all of next week especially getting into the end of next week into the beginning of the week where highs will be consistently around 100 and above and of course it feels like we'll make it even worse where that factors in the humidity um and that's your feels like temperature what your body actually feels um, so like today's high is 96. It probably feels there today around 105. 
So, you know, that's a pretty much around a 10 degree difference between what your body feels and what the actual temperature is. Um, so, you know, this is dangerous stuff. Really hope everyone in all these areas from the south central U.S. through the southeast, up through the mid-Atlantic, New England, northeast, and into the Midwest, Ohio Valley, um, all everyone just please make sure you are prepared and stay hydrated and just take all the precautions you need to uh, make sure you're safe from this. Um, so again, um, that's it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.